If you've ever used a GUI OS, you've more than likely come into contact with links. Think shortcuts in Windows. The Linux command line has them too. There are two types of links in Linux, hard and symbolic links. Symbolic links are sometimes called soft links. This is B from Taytalk Tech, and today I'm gonna to teach you all about hard and symbolic links. Stick with me. I've got a favorite ask. If you like this type of video and wanna see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you didn't like it, Make sure you let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to get the most out of this video. Let's do this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and start by talking about hard links. Uh, every file on a system starts with a single hard link that is stored that points to the stored data on that particular file. So if you run ls tech l, you'll see the number next to the permissions here. That's going to indicate the number of hard links on your on that file. Now, one of the things you'll want to keep in mind is that this only works with hard links. It does not work with symbolic links. So the symbolic links will not increment this counter. Now, a hard link creates another pointer to the same data uh, for that file with a new name. When you create additional hard links, you will see the link number increase on both the original and the hard link. Hard links can be moved around the same file system, but not different file systems. So let me let me just help illustrate that for us. We're going to df tag h. So we've got these multiple different file systems here. So here's our root file system. And then here's our boot partition, which is still technically a, a separate file system. So you cannot have you cannot you cannot have a file over here hard link to one over here and vice versa. So keep that in mind. Now, limitations of hard links, there's a couple of them here. Now you can't create a hard link to a directory and they must be on the same file system as the original as we just covered. So let's actually get into now creating a hard link. So it's a pretty easy command to create a hard link. You're gonna do ln, and then you're gonna go ahead and put in the original file name, which in this case is file, and then we're just gonna call it toast. Perfect, there we go. And if we do an ls tech l, we can see that the, we can see that the hard, the link counters have been incremented on both the original as well as the um, hard link file. So illustrating our point there. Pretty easy, right? Now let's go ahead and talk about symbolic links. So symbolic links are special files that link back to the existing file. Let me, let's do an ls tech l on the root file system. And here we've got a few, there's actually three separate um, instances where we actually have symbolic links. And see, there's, if this were a hard link, you'd have at least two here, but um, we only have one, so we know that this is symbolic link. And also we know it's symbolic link because user bin, sbin, and user lib and user bin are all directories. So we definitely know that these aren't hard links because remember, directories um, cannot be hard linked, but they can be sim, sim linked, which is um, a lot more convenient for you know their use purposes. Now these, unlike hard links, can span multiple file systems. So you can have you can have a file on the on one on you know the root partition, um, the root um, the root file system that links back to maybe you have your home directory separate. You can have it link back to your home directory. And I actually um, did a tech, did an example here. So let's go to ls tech l and we're going to do it on temp. Uh, did I? Yep. Here we go. This last file right here. I also I uh, um I got one right here for. It's also called toast. You, clearly, I like the to, like the the word toast. But we can see here that this toast link points back to this test file in my home directory, which is on a different file. Uh, actually, no, it's on the same file system, but still. Like, it's the same It's the same concept. We, we could put it somewhere else. I just don't have any other ones on here, but it works. So, now, symbolic links, like I said, can also be used on directories. Now, one of the things you want to keep in mind is if you delete the original file or move it, it will, um, it will break the symbolic link. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and Let's clear this out. And I'm sorry if my head was in the way on that one. Let's actually go back and redo that again. TM. Oops. Let's, I'm just going to redo this for my head being in the way. And my head is still in the way. There we go. That should be better. So we've got it right here. We can see that that link right here, it's it, like it's it's on the temp directory, but it's pointing all the way back to this. So it's pretty cool. All right, now let's go into actually creating them. So we're going to do L, the command that is ln, and then it's tack s. Then we're going to do the same thing as we're going to do file, but then we're going to call it something else. We're going to call it, let's just call it bagel. 
There we go. And if we do an ls tac l. And there we go. And we can see that it points back to the file. Now let's let me actually let's actually do something else. Let's go, let's let's do let's go to let's yeah, let's do ls boot. Um, okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to clear this out and we're going to do a, we're going to do an ls tac s, I'm sorry, uh, ln tac s, and then we're going to go and we're going to do, um, we're going to do boot, we're going to do efi, and then we're going to call it, um, let's call it muffin. Right, and just want to illustrate here that you can do them across um, file systems. And if we do this here, there we go. And if we do a cat muffin, oops, I'm sorry. If we do ls muffin, we can see that we've got the file there. So we can see that it crosses file systems. Remember, if we do a df tag h, which shows us the file systems, we can see that the um, the boot partition is a separate uh, is a separate file system, so we can see that it, it does indeed work across the file system. So pretty awesome, right? I just want to make sure that I illustrated that properly because I didn't feel like I did that uh, strong enough when I made my case earlier. So now you know all about hard and symbolic links. Check out this other video from my channel. Remember, mistakes make you better, so keep on making them. Thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.